Now let's check out the crude oil cuts. As the name implies these are rough cuts on the crude oil. As you can imagine, when we have this column, it's kind of hard to add extra, let's say, processing. So what we do is essentially just take out all the products. For instance, gas is a cut, light straight run nafta is another cut, heavy straight run nafta, jet fuel, gas oil, either light or heavy, and the residue. Typically the residue goes to the following column. So we got two products, atmospheric and bacon. Later on, we're going to see much more on the specification, design and operation of each column in order to favor, of course, NAFTA or light NAFTA producers. We want to avoid the least amount of bacon residues. So technically the price goes as follows, it decreases, increases, increases like this. So you don't want to produce that much on vacuum gas oil. What you want to do is, of course, produce the most of jet fuel, diesel, and naphtha, or technically gasoline. What is a cut? Well, there's no certain way to define this because this will depend on the refinery, on your product specifications, on your crude oil, on the distillation unit, and so on. But typically they are defined by their, let's say, side stripping. So at what temperature are you removing the distillates, so you can see here, anything below or anything that boils below this will be butan and lighters. Anything between these temperatures, and of course you can bring 70 to 100, or maybe you are much more rigorous and you want to make a half cut, for instance here you want 185 to 220 will be light nafta and 220 up to 350 will be heavy nafta, you can do so. So it's kind of hard to let you with a specific definition of what is a cut. But just try to imagine a cut is nothing more than the fuel or let's say the product that you are removing directly. So this is a cut, this is a cut, this is a cut and so on. And the interesting part right here is that actually you will be moving this type of temperatures depending on the demand. So if you need to produce more gasoline, you will. If you have a higher demand on diesel, you will be stuck moving the ranges in order to not only move the atmospheric uh, produces, but also all these individual reaction mechanisms. So more on crude cuts. Here it is, here it is cut. Light naphtha, heavy naphtha, distillate, atmospheric gas oil, and so on. Similar temperatures. This is another diagram I wanted to show you. We got the straight run and the bacon run. So try to identify all these materials. LT stands for light, HBY stands for heavy, and SR, which is actually present in most of them, is a straight run. What does it mean? Is essentially there is removal of product and there is no treatment at all. It's just like the product it's going to be obtained, meaning that this is the raw product. It's going to be treated. This will be high in sulfur. This must be isomerated sometimes, some reform it. So reforming must be done and so on, even cracking, etc. And in vacuum, as you can see here, VC stands for vacuum and the residues. Always we're going to have residues. So try to identify them here. We're going to see them later on.